So you so so like on a typical holy day holiday, you would have approximately uh, everyone sit in this room and just pray and. We do different things. We do all kinds of things, but every nineteen days, the Baha there is a Baha'i calendar. I, I broke the calendar. Yeah, I saw. Ready, right. Okay. okay. And the Baha'i calendar consists of nineteen months of nineteen days. Now. We're about to, uh, to uh, and the, that comes out to be 361 days a year. The five days left over are left over at the end of February, from February, uh, let's say, from February 26th to um, March 2nd, March 1st. One, two, three, four. Just about there. And those are days of gift giving and celebration before, now the Baha'i New Year is March 21st. And then from the 2nd of March to the, 20, to the 20th, 21st of March, is a period of fasting. And it's a similar fast to the Islamic fast. Ramadan, right. Fast. But because it's at this time of year, the days are even. The days and nights are even. So you have 12 hours of sunlight, pretty much 12 hours of... Would you consider that like one of your holidays also, like one of the holy days? This, or? Is, this is a period of fasting. Do you, what's a period called? It's just called a period of fasting? or? It's, um, it's called the Baha'i Fast. Baha'i Fast? Yeah. And it precedes the New Year, the Baha'i New Year. It ends on the 21st with the vernal equinox. And in places such as the poles or wherever, where you're not going to have 12, day, 12 hours of sunlight, so you fast for 12 hours. The person just fasts for 12 hours. Um, you fast from, literally, from sunrise to sundown every day for those 19 days, for 19 days, and you finish it with the, um, with the feast, with the celebration. Um. That's that's not a Baha'i thing. I just want to ask. No, mm -hmm. that's not a Baha'i thing. So you so every nineteen days you guys every depend. nineteen days we have is the Baha'i month and we have a feast. And How many people would you say be a, would normally be at the feast like uh, the as much as the Baha'i community? Would, there might be there might be six people. There might be sixty people. It depends on the size. Of the I see. Feast and they eat any kind of food. <laughs> but the feast is not, it's really not a physical feast. No, right. It's, it's a spiritual feast. feast. Right. Now we do, it has three parts. The first part is devotions. And we use the writings of Baha'u'llah, the Bab, and Abu Baha in those, uh, in the feast. And music. And the second part is consultation among the members of the community about the affairs of the community about messages that we might have from the National Spiritual Assembly, from the Universal House of Justice. We discuss the affairs of the, of the Baha'i community. Uh, people have the opportunity to make recommendations for the local spiritual assembly, to consider, to whatever. Well, it depends a lot on the size of the community. And the third part is we have something, we share food together. Um, mostly, we just share simple food together, light refreshments. Every so often, if, if it's a dinner, then the dinner will, pre, will be before the feast. But it ends with something to eat. So. So what's the song called exactly? Pardon me? What's the song called? It's the prayer for the southern states. What? Did I? For this song, this is the prayer you have to say daily? You know the song's name? We're asked to say it daily. We don't have a Baha'i belief. Oh my God, oh my God. 
Thou seest me in my loneliness and weakness, occupied with the greatest undertaking, determined to raise thy word among the masses and to spread thy teachings among thy peoples. How can I succeed unless thou assist me with the breath of the Holy Spirit? Help me to triumph it's a good by thought. the hosts of thy glorious kingdom. And shower upon me. Is anything up here behind stuff either? Anything up artifacts? Oh, yeah, there's the book of artifacts. Oh, my lord, assist me with thy triumphant. Might, so that my tongue may utter thy praises and attributes among all people, and my soul overflow with the wine of thy love and knowledge. How can I succeed? Unless thou assist 